Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is Oxidation and Enzyme Denaturation? Okay, so uh, basically an enzyme is just a type of protein. And so proteins are all made of a single strand of connected amino acids. But they aren't just a straight line. They all have a very, very specific shape. And even though their shape looks scraggly and crazy, it's extremely specific to each enzyme and very, very important. The 3D structure is just as important as the actual amino acids linking it all together. And it links together through a bunch of bonds, not uh, the bonds that are keeping the individual amino acids together, but different types of bonds like hydrogen bonds. So for instance, if you have like an alcohol group hanging off of one uh, amino acid and then you have just a free hydrogen over here, you can form a, a hydrogen bond between the partial negative charge of the oxygen and the partial uh, positive charge of this hydrogen, which means that maybe this enzyme or protein will form a little shape like this, where this H can be closer to this OH. And so there's thousands and millions of these happening and all of these are very unique and make this enzyme shape. So that's how enzymes get their shapes. And if you denature them, it's basically a way of breaking up the shape and breaking up all these bonds that aren't as strong as covalent, but they're still pretty strong. And so you basically take its scrambly 3D shape and uh, turn it into just a string. So it all came from a little string and denaturing it is just making it uh, return back to its single strand form. And so there's a bunch of different ways to denature a protein or an enzyme. And so one of them is pH. If you just make something way more acidic or way more basic than it should be, it'll dena get denatured. Also temperature. If you heat something up way above or cool it down way below what it should be, it'll denature itself. Um, and there's a couple other ways too. And so in this question, we're addressing oxidation. So in general, what's oxidation? Well, oxidation is just a general term for uh, making different changes to molecules that happen to oxidize them. So if you have something with an alcohol group here, and then you do a chemical reaction, and you turn it into a ketone, then you have oxidized it. You've uh, gotten rid of single bonds, added more double bonds, and there's generally more um, electron free density here. Now also, if you have a single bond and you do chemistry to it and you make it a double bond, that's also oxidizing. So again, you know, getting rid of single bonds that used to be here, replacing them with double bonds, adding more oxygens, and there's a bunch of, I mean, oxidation is just a complicated subject, so that's its own lesson. But in short, oxidizing is doing things like this. So if you take a bunch of chemicals that are going to oxidize an enzyme and put them over here, then you'll break up all of these little special bonds that are holding the enzyme together. So if you had this alcohol, which in the first place was making this little protein form like this into a little U shape, and you just took it into a ketone, then maybe its hydrogen bond would uh, change shape or not be as strong or be too strong, and then it would end up um, breaking the shape or changing it some way. If you do that over and over again, eventually you'll denature the enzyme. And so you can renature them, uh, and some enzymes can just bounce back into shape and they'll be fine after you do this, and some never can. They'll just be stuck like this or in some kind of tangled mess. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is Oxidation and Denaturation of an Enzyme? Mm -hmm.